Hello there. Today I'm going to read The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. I dedicate this reading to my sweet niece, Mackenzie. I know you like this story and now you can watch Auntie reading the story whenever you want. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're all mine. All mine, shout, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye and the grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of himself. Oh, you're not big enough to fight, it said. Then why don't you go pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, scratched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the, the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and they flew off. At seven o'clock, he met a stag beetle. Hey, you, want to fight? The grouchy ladybug said. If you insist, said the, the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with the long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp, sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, shouted the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, want to fight? Said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the lobster, stretching his claws. Oh, what is it going to say? You're not big enough, shed the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Can you even see the grouchy ladybug here? How tiny the ladybug is compared to this big old snake? How big of an animal does he want to fight? At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, want to fight? Said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing his teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Here's the tiny ladybug. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating on his chest. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering his horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. See the teeny tiny ladybug? Oh my goodness. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing his big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Can you even see the ladybug now? Oh my goodness. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you, want to fight? There's the ladybug. But it got no answer, so he flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, hey, you, want to fight? But it still got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. It's right there. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back at where it had started from. Ah, uh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. That's the end. So that's the story of the grouchy ladybug. I hope you have a great day.